Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm gonna share a tip. Um, I didn't even really try it, but I figure it's gonna work. What to do with an empty um, barrel of Wink of Stella. I was ready to toss that in the trash and I'm like, huh. I think we can do something. So I prepare one and then just test it on the piece of paper. It wore good, but I didn't do a full card with it. So what you're going to do when your wink of Stella run out, but before you decide that it's done with the wink of Stella, I'll, I used to tell my customer, what you want to do is take this apart here. And when it's really nothing coming out, you can put a few drops of water in it and you're going to keep on getting more. So um, I got my um, inky rag here. I need to toss this one in the laundry and get a new one, right? So you're going to pull this out. So what you could do is put a few drops of water. I say a few drops, maybe 10 drops of water and you're going to have a lot longer life of your Wink of Stella. After you're done with that and you see it's really no more shimmer in, in it, what you can do is take some reinker, and um, I use 10 drops about. For I did a old olive there. Oh, oh, this one poop all on the side there. Must have been too full. So put 10 drops in your barrel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, let me put the cover on this. I don't know what I done with this here. Here we go. And this here is Wisteria Wonder. And then you're going to take rubbing alcohol. And I use the 70% rubbing alcohol and you're going to fill your barrel but when I say fill your barrel remember here this little gadget here the tube need to go back in so you don't want to fill it too much so let me I can see myself try to do a mess here with the camera in my way so I'm going to fill I don't even see I just go about or you can see on the side so I go to about where it say push that's to about where I put the rubbing alcohol drop your barrel in that seemed pretty good so you're going to put your rubbing alcohol till you see the push on the side there the writing to the H there now I put back my uh, cylinder barrel whatever you call it now close this here, shake this, and you're going to hear that little noise, and that is a little ball in there for the shimmer so it don't get all chunk. So shake this very well. Now what we're going to do, we're going to try to do a card right on the spot. I'm using a Whisper White, but the heavy uh, white card stock. And we're going to stamp... I think I didn't try anything so I think the memento ink would work the best and the reason why I see the memento ink it's because that's what we used to um, work with when it we used to have the blendability and that was water um, alcohol based markers so I think with the alcohol in this that's going to be the best so you want to make sure that your stamp it's very well ink and we're using flourishing a uh, phrase on page 49 of the catalog and this is a set of two it's a big set so I decide to use this because I needed a little bit of stuffed color and I'm going to stamp this sideways a bit because I want to put a grating on one side I see I'm off there that's okay Okay, voila. Now I'm gonna use the greeting. Um, thank you so very much because I use a lot of thank you. Here we go. Never been used, so we're gonna use this. And some of you are gonna say you don't put your word. Sometimes I put my word, sometimes I don't. 
I'm going to use the Wisteria Wonder for my warts because um, that's going to be my backing. Pretty good. I smear on the side, still good. Now I'm going to bring the, the camera down a little bit because I had lift up quite a bit for the bottle of uh, the reinker, the bottle of alcohol. Okay. And we got, oh, one thing I would say, take a Sharpie and at the top put what it is. So I'm going to put Wisteria here. So at, <coughs> at least I know on the top. And then I'm going to put it here too. So when you come to, um, wonder. Just a W. So when you come to get your, um, you won't mix it with the clear or whatever. So this is the Wisteria Wonder. What I'm going to do is take a piece of scrap paper and we're going to squeeze the barrel till we get the color coming out. There we go. See all that shimmer still in there with the color? So if you see that the color, it's not dark enough, it's easier to add more um, ink of um, reinker a uh, drop, then try to take some away. And you know what? We're going to use a few more drink of reinker. So I said 10. Depends on the color you're going to have to play with. So now I'm going to come in here and put... Um, a few more so um, I'm gonna say between 10 and 15 would be right okay now I get 15 so it depend like the light color if you go like um, uh, any of the light color in wisteria it's in the light colors a bit it's still dark but still light if you go like blushing bright pink roulette that you're going to have to use a lot more shake it very good and squeeze i just want to make sure that i squeeze back the ink in the barrel there here we go now i'm going to color and then color so this way you don't have to toss away your um, barrel you can use it as a marker with uh, any color in it with stereo it's very light i don't know how much you can see in the picture i'm going to bring it closer when you bring it close you're going to see you see it quite a bit and i still have a lot of shimmer in that even the barrel seemed that it was empty I see a lot of um, shimmer in this. Now it looks like I get more of the wisteria coming in. So maybe this one, I thought I used, um, and then I'm going to do the little berries there. I thought I did use the water, maybe I didn't, because uh, the... All olive don't seem as shimmer. Okay, now I'm going to take my old olive. I'm going to bring you close in a minute. And that I had already primed it. After you prime it, you don't have to prime it every time, my friends. When you see it's getting dry, then you prime it again. Now I'm going to add that here. So now my... Um, all olive, I did 10 drops in this, and it seemed pretty good. This one almost looked like gold, but it was the clear one. Can you do that with a gold um, empty wink of Scylla? Absolutely. It's going to get, if you use, um, depending on the color you use in, it can change the color a bit, but it's perfectly fine, I'm sure. I really like this look here. And while I get you here, like I said, I just thought of that and decided to shoot a video, boom. Uh, we're going to try it on darker color. I just want to try the, 
I think that looked very good because I get the green coming with it. I just wanted to try on the stem and that looked very, very good. So, oh, now I'm going to take back my um, wisteria, put it right there. I see I didn't put it there and right here. Okay, let me bring that closer. I, oh, you can see it very good. See? So you get your shimmer and your color. So do not toss away your wink of Stella pen when it's empty. You can use it. Uh, and after, after a while, I'm sure it won't be no more shimmer in it. But still, it's going to give you kind of uh, markers, uh, alcohol markers. Now I'm going to take this. Put that right here. So the paper, the Ebby White cardstock that I used was three and a half by five. And um, I think three and a half by five. And let me double measure here so I can tell you the measurement. Okay, this was exactly three and a half by four and three quarters. So three and a half by four and three quarter. The wisteria wonder was five by three and three quarter. And then on just a regular white card stock. But I think you can see it very well. I absolutely love this. So I said we're gonna try it on dark color. Let me reach just a black piece and then we're gonna be able to see what it does. So this one here, it's the wisteria. So really it's a clear, uh, it almost looked clear. And then this is the green. So see, it look almost the same. So on dark, dark paper, you won't really see the colors. You still have some shimmer. But like I said, after a while, I'm sure the shimmer will run out. So it's just going to give you the uh, alcohol um, uh, tools to color. So this is it, my friend. A great way to recycle your uh, Wink of Stella pin. Have a great day. And for all your stamping up product, visit my blog at frenchystamps.com.